You're the one. Is it cool? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the story of Fire and Ice. And it's taking place in our electric universe right here, right now. So put on your fun caps and let's do some solar science. Don't give up, Charlie Brown. Hi, I'm Thor. I make videos. This video is going to be crazy. Thor News presents. It sounds cool, even though it's hot. Are you ready for it? Bang flash. Tiny charged particles everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the sun because after going into a solar slumber, that brought us record cold. La Sol is waking up in this grand asterisk solar minimum. That's right. After going sunspotless for weeks, we now have sunspot AR 269. Nine! And for maximum dramatic effect, she will be Earth facing in the very near future. And I think I might even have the timing of the solar flares down. And if I do, I'm pretty sure we're going to get another solar flare within the next four to eight hours. That's almost guaranteed to have some Earth-directed components if there is a coronal mass ejection. Hey y'all, the sun learned a new move. Exit stage left. Enter stage right. Wow, that's got a weird look to it. It's definitely got a weird look to it, man. See, so yeah, we got a live one right on Earth's ecliptic about to be facing us. No need to worry. If you feel yourself getting all super extra emotional and out of character, just think, oh, we probably just had a solar flare. I should calm down and stay cool. All right, hit the button, baby. Are you the one? Are you ready for it? Showtime, a-holes. Ah! Astonishers assemble. This is so romantic. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, we're over at spaceweather.com learning that the solar wind stream grazes Earth often and, man, there's movement all over. Solar wind spilling from a northern hole in the sun's atmosphere is grazing Earth's magnetic field today. The indirect pressure of the gaseous material sparking intermittent auroras around the Arctic Circle, the unstable magnetic canopy of sunspot AR-2699 erupted on February 7th, that's yesterday, 1347 UT time, producing a C8 class solar flare, a pulse of extreme ultraviolet radiation from the flare ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere. It is a significant eruption. AR-2699 is becoming larger and more unsettled as it turns towards Earth. So more flares are possible in the hours and days ahead. Yeah, that big, long, snaky, coronal hole has me concerned. And we'll have to check the next time it rolls around to see if it actually has any effect on the earthquakes we see. Sun is like you or I. We have our emotional ups and downs. The sun feeds light and energy into the earth in many different magical and scientific ways. It's true. It's true. The revved up protons and charged particles jiggle the earth's magnetic field, creating auroras. Magical lights, often shaped just like dragons. Now this ain't doom. It does mean things are going to get weirder than they already are. Can you handle that? I think you can. Because, now say it with me, when the sun freaks out, Earth weather freaks out, and then people freak out. And just like all of us, the sun has been going through some major changes these last few years. Earth too. That one looks weird for some reason. So ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to this epic adventure. Stay cool. God bless everyone. I like this one because we get the magic box of forbidden information that are way too hot for your eyes to handle. Maybe I'll freeze frame it to see what it says. Aw, you be my valentine. Of course I will. Now, I've had the time of my life doing solar science with you. Did you make it all the way through? Hit the button, baby. Hit the button, baby.